This is part 14 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the jQuery selected selector. In the previous sessions of this video series, we discussed that to get all checked checkboxes or radio buttons, we use the jQuery checked selector. To select all selected options of a select element, that is a single select or a multi-select drop-down list, we use the selected selector. Let's understand this with an example. Here, we've got a single select drop-down list. As we make our selection from this drop-down list, we want to display the selected options, value, and text, as you can see here. So let's see how to achieve this. So here, we have a select element, and this select element has got five options. And notice, each option has got a value and text. And at the bottom, we have a div element. So we want to display each option's value and text within this div element. So let's see how to do that. Within our script section, we have the ready function wired up. Right. We want to retrieve the selected options, value, and text whenever the selection within the drop-down list changes. So I'm going to wire up change event handler to this select element. So to do that, we need to first find this select element. The select element has got an ID, so I'm going to use the ID selector. And in jQuery, ID selector is hash. So hash and the ID of the element that we want to find is select countries. And to that element, we want to wire up change event handler. When this change event occurs, we want to execute a function. So. Whenever the selection within that drop-down list changes, what do we want to do? We want to retrieve the value and text of that selected option. So, now where are these options present? These options are actually nested in the select element. So I can use the ancestor descendant syntax. Okay, so the select element has got an ID and the ID is select countries. So first find the element with ID select countries and then give me all options that are descendants of that select element but we don't really want all the options we just want that option which is selected and to specify that I'm going to use colon selected selector so this is basically going to tell give me that option that is selected and that is present inside this select countries select element so that's our selected option. So let's put that in a variable. Let's name it selected option. And all that is left now is to retrieve the text and value of that selected option and display that within this div element. So we need to find the div element as well. And this div element has got an ID, so we can use the ID selector. So dollar ID selector is hash. Find the div by ID. And Let's call the HTML method, and then we want to display the value and text. So first, let's display the value. Value equals. And to get the value, we can use this variable selected option. Dot val function should give us the value. And then we want the text. So let's append that string. Text equals selected option dot text. All right, so let's save these changes. And let's reload this page and look at this. We select United Kingdom, we get its value and text. So this is a single select drop-down list. Now let's see how to do the same thing with a multi-select drop-down list. So at the moment within this um, select item, we have two options selected and look at the result. For both the options, we get the value and text. Okay, so let's see how to achieve this. First of all, to make this a multi-select drop-down list, use the multiple attribute. So multiple equals multiple. Okay, so let's save the changes and let's reload this page. So this should become a multi-select drop-down list. Now, in a multi-select drop-down list, there is a chance that the user can select more than one option. Okay, so with this selector, what we are getting back is actually a collection. So let's rename the variable to selected options. And the selected options can contain more than one selection, right? So if 
selected options dot length if that is greater than zero then we know that there is a selection within that list and in that case what do we want to do we want to loop through each option and then retrieve the value and text so first I'm going to create a variable here let's uh, call this result string and let's initialize that to an empty string and this is a collection so I'm going to use the jQuery each function and loop through each item that we have within that collection and when we are looping through we want to execute some code so I'm going to use an anonymous function and we are going to populate this result string with the text and value of each option so result string plus equals so first we want the value so value equals and we have this keyword which refers to an item within that collection and then we can use the val function on that and to that we want to append text so text equals and again dollar this dot text all right so we loop through each item within that collection append the value and text and we want the value and text of each option to be present in a separate line so at the end of each option we want an HTML break all right and the final thing that is left is to this HTML function simply pass our result string all right so let's save these changes reload this page and look at this as we make our selections you know I selected United States we get the value and text I select United Kingdom uh, we get the value and text and by the way to select multiple items uh, hold down the control key and then make the selection so here is the HTML and the jQuery code for the first example and here for the second example thank you for listening have a great day